The search has turned up nothing for Krishan Steele and Omar Skyers, two beautiful and promising souls that were swept away in Wagwater River. Welcome to Jamaica News Online, and this is Esmer Sastin. Well guys, this is supposed to be a reaction video, but how do you react on something like this? A futile search for Krishan Steele and Omar Skyers, two beautiful and promising souls, were swept away in Wagwater River. They are on a mission to find a woman, and the Good Samaritan, that tried to save her. This is the second person in weeks that have been washed away from trying to save someone. And this is supposed to be a reaction video and a sad one. It's a sad one for the family. Jamaicans are very helpful and loving people and it's always their first instinct to help whenever they can. We are a loving nation in spite of our flaws and no one is perfect. But when it comes to helping our neighbors in need, there is nowhere like Jamaica or Jamaicans. Take it from me. There's no way you'll go anywhere and find people like us. I know some of us cannot help it and one of the first things someone think of when they see someone in distress is to jump in and help but never just jump in because a drowning person can accidentally pull their rescuers under with them tossing a life saving device like rope towel or even pool if you're in a pool or even pool noodle helps the drowning person without increasing risk to others but once you go in, and if you go in, you have to grab the person from behind. Because if you grab the person from in front, they're going to, all they're going to do is pull you down. But, you know, when you don't have that, you see somebody washing away, and you don't have those things, that's the first thing you think of. And because it's the second time it happened in maybe t within two weeks or so, people can kind of learn from this and say, how do I help someone that is drowning? Because it's like double problem when somebody going and just jump in and try to help someone that's drowning. It's really sad. And if a person is standing there, obviously they're going to feel guilty. Thinking that I could have done something and I did not do it. What a way to go. There can be no closure until the woman and man who washed away in Wagwater River found. Now, it is many hours since this happened. Will it be, you know, it, it, it will, will they be found? You know, the, the mother, Alison um, Spratt, experienced teachers on Friday afternoon when she received reports that a body was found in Wagwater River in St. Mary. More than 24 hours after her 19-year-old daughter and the Good Samaritan was washed away. He's an employee of Lasco. In the heavy rain. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's raining. And I don't know if you know. Um, we usually call it one time. Say river come down. It's raining. And it is sad. Because you're in the river. You're in the water. It's raining. You feel good. You have a good time. You're not expecting that something would just come down sudden like that. But maybe the rain was falling more up the top of the river. And everything just gushed and come down unexpected. Them say up to Friday. Nobody could confirm anything about what uh, caused what cause it to happen or anything at all. It is sad and it's causing anxiety among the relatives of both Steele and Skyers who had all traveled from Laura Walton Park Road and Seaview Garden in St. Andrew hoping to find their loved ones who are believed to have drowned. 
I have heard this story many times. My birth month marked the month my uncle was washed away in the Hector's River. And his decomposed body was found miles away from where it happened. It is an experience my mother and my father carried with them for many, many years. It was like an Anansi story in my home because the daughter ended up being adopted by my parents. So it's like a memory that never feared from them. The family of these beautiful young people will carry the grief for many, many years, especially if them washed out to sea because the, the at least with my uncle, the river stopped at a certain part and then it went, the water went underneath. And then the river came out somewhere else where the water went un un underneath. He got to the point, that ending point. But from what I understand, this river goes into the sea. And of course, they didn't start looking for them that same day. So if they go into the sea, they might not even be found. But all we can say is, God knows best. So guys, let me not keep you in suspense anymore and dive into the story right now. So a search team comprises of family members and friends spent many hours on Friday scoping miles of the river trying to locate the two but had no luck. Their hopes increased on numerous occasions when they saw objects appearing to be of human form. However, those hopes were quickly dashed after realizing that what they spotted were inanimate objects. Cassandra Steele, a younger sibling of the missing woman, said she witnessed her sister being knocked off a rock by a strong gush of water along with debris before she was washed downstream. She said they were in the water, but some black Something did a pitch on her skin. So she came out of the water and washed them off. She was ready to go and she said to her sister, Come now, me ready. She said it about three times. Even her head was hurting and she tell her sister, say, My head hurting. And she said, She nah come. So the sister just leave. And she sat down on the rock. Everybody was sitting on a rock. While the sister was in there. I am telling you. I am telling you. I am telling you. This is just sad. And she said by the time she looked. A pure bamboo bushes. With rubbish. She started coming down. She said where she step on the rock. She freeze. And the water start run hard. Then a big wave come and lick her off. Her head was going up and down until she couldn't see her anymore. She said she started running a ball, call out her name. And she was about to go into the water and a lady who lived near her husband came with a rope. She held on to her, to her and took her to the police station. She said she, said she can't go down to the river. She said if she go in there, she'll go drown. That's what the woman tell her. Luckily, the woman give her that advice. Because when she see her sister going down in there, her entire instinct is to go after the sister to try to help her. And then it would have been two children the woman lose. She said even when the, her sister had come up a little, she never... Say help nor nothing. But you see, when somebody is drowning, they say when somebody is drowning, they are trying so much to lift them head up, to to breathe air, that they don't have time to call and say help. And this is exactly what happened. Because if if you research something like drowning, what do people do when drowning? That's exactly what them do. They don't call. Because they can't use that energy that they have to call and say help. Now, the guy, Skyers, is the, is the girl who drowned friend. 
and he saw what was happening. She said after her sister got down, it looked like a wave lick him off a rock that he was sitting on, she said. Adding that, she didn't see how Skyers ended up in the water as it was at the time that the woman had prevented her from jumping into the raging river in an attempt to save her sister, despite her inability to swim. But some other reports say he jumped in to help her. So we don't know if it, the, the same water lick him off or him jumping to help her. The missing woman's mother, meanwhile, appeared to be distraught, and you can't expect better. You cannot expect better. She spent most of the journey from St. Andrew to St. Mary in silence, her face wrenched in pain. In pain, can you imagine? She had left from all from St. Andrew to St. Mary. Hearing that, her daughter get washed away. Them say as she sit on a sidewalk above the river. She told the news that someone who had a lot of knowledge about what the possible outcome could be told her that the body of her daughter and her friend could very well end up in a sea. She said people told her that it might not be until they float to the top of the sea in the next couple of days that they will be found. However, she still held on to hope that their bodies had lodged somewhere along the course of the river and had not gone all the way to the sea. One woman who lives close to the spot from where the two were swept away said that a search team should have been activated within the first few hours after the incident occurred. Instead, the following day, may I tell you how, boy, me na know, me na know, me tap talk, me tap talk. One whole day, she expressed sadness that the girl who have two-year-old son most likely will not grow up knowing his mother and will have to learn at a late stage in life that his mother died from drowning. All we can hope is that whoever take care of that child and adopt that child, treat that child well. Treat that child well. That child is going to need a lot of loving and a lot of care. Because the child is only two years old, the child will not remember the mother. And whoever take that child, because as, I'm, as I tell you earlier in this story, that my uncle died by drowning, and his daughter was around two years old, the same age. Did not know. The mother went to England. I can tell you this story here now. As a young woman, she got married in England. And she never tell her husband she had a child. So she end up with my mother and my father. And my mother made sure she got a good education. She didn't miss having her father around. And she ended up becoming a principal. She ended up with a degree. And I hope, we can only hope, that this child will not miss his mother. Will not miss his mother. It's very sad. It is really sad that the little boy father gone a foreign Wednesday and his mother dead Thursday. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. You see, Wagwater River, that water is not a nice water. When it come down, you have Ginger River, Wagwater River, and palm river and there is also a dam when the dam let go 
and on nothing normal, water high and powerful. The woman who lived near there said, and they says that today is Saturday. They were continuing the search today. Well, so far, I've not heard anything yet, and I'm hoping that when them continue the search today, find them so that the, the mother will find some peace instead of sitting down there can't find her kids and the other guy who is the friend can't find the friend and that because if you if you don't have a body there's no there cannot be any closure without a body it's very very sad and as i say this is it's supposed to be a reaction but i don't know if you would call this a reaction yes I don't know if you would call it a reaction. It's just a very, very sad situation. And guys, if you have watched the video so far to this point, just make sure you subscribe, you like, you share, and you hit that notification bell. And I will see you back here on my next video.